Hi and welcome to this, the first video in a series on how to make Pac-Man in Scratch. So if you've not used Scratch before, um, we're going to do it online. We're going to use the Scratch website for this. So you need to, in Google or whatever search engine, you need to search for Scratch. And you'll see that the, the top uh, item on the list, scratch.mit.edu, that's the one we want. So let's go ahead and click on that link. Okay, so as I say, if you've not done this before, this is Scratch. Um, there's some fantastic projects on here. Um, there are lots of um, other people's games and, and programs that you can go on and explore. Uh, and if you go right down to the bottom, you'll find that there are uh, lots of useful links. So particularly the help page um, is really useful. So, uh, but we want to get you started. So if you want to join Scratch, if you've not done it before, you would just click up here and you choose a username. Okay, keep it safe. Remember, don't put your own name in there. Um, or something that identifies you too much. I have done, because it's quite important that you can identify me, uh, but for you guys, you might not want to do that. Uh, but put your username in and a password, uh, and then you can join from there. So I'm going to close that down and log in, because I already have an account. Great, so once you're in, and you've signed up and you've logged in, um, you will have a few options at the top, uh, one of which is to create. Uh, a new project and that's what exactly what we want to do so let's click on create and this is the scratch window so a few basics for you um, here this is sort of like your preview screen this is sort of where your game or your program is going to run all scratch programs um, are based on the idea that you have a stage which we can access here by clicking now that's the white background that's where the action happens and sprites and sprites are the objects within your game so that could be a character like it is here the the scratch cat uh, it could be a car it could be a person it could be um, a bullet from a gun it could be you know anything really any anything that moves around or you interact with in your game is a sprite uh, so we're gonna make a, a pac-man sprite in today's um, little tutorial um, the other things that you need to know are um, over here on the right hand side you'll see uh, this is where we can build up our blocks of code. So we build up our scripts in this little area here and we get our blocks uh, from this area. So these are all to do, all these blue ones are to do with motion. Okay and we can see we've got motion selected up here and we can change these block sets and we can see all the ones to do with how the sprite looks. Uh, there are sound ones which show us sort of what sort of sounds the sprite might make. Pen, uh, which allows us to draw behind the sprite, a bit like a, a turtle. Data, so if this sprite has any information it stores, such as a name or a score that it's tracking or something, we might use data. Events, this tracks when certain things happen in the, uh, in the game. So when you press a particular key on the keyboard, or when the sprite is clicked on, or when we press the green flag icon, which is up here. And that's where you start all your games. Okay, so um, for most of the things that you're going to do, you're going to want to start off your game with a green flag. So you'll get used to that one very quickly. Um, control, this is where we can control the flow of the program. So we can pause, we can repeat an event a certain number of times or indefinitely. We can test if a certain condition is true before we run something. So we might want to check if a score has been reached before we show some kind of message on the screen or something. Um, we can sense things. So this sprite can tell you whether it's touching another sprite, whether it's touching a, a color. Um, we can ask a question of the user and we can use the answer that they give us. So that's one that we might use quite a lot. We can find out what the mouse's position on the screen is and we might respond to that. So there's a few that we can use there. Operators, this is where we might add together some data values. So often we'll use this in combination with the orange data ones. Um, we can also check if something and something else has happened. So we may use this with our control statements. Uh, and under more blocks, this is where you can create your own blocks, just in case Scratch didn't give you enough. Um, you would use this quite commonly if, if there were a sequence of events that you kept putting blocks together again and again and again. Uh, you might say, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to combine all of those into my own custom block. 
so that I can more easily make use of those things. So that's a little bit of an introduction to Scratch. Um, apologies to those of you who knew all that stuff already, but it never hurts to have a good refresher. Um, something else I will say actually, sorry, that's, that's scripts. Um, when we want to change what a sprite looks like, we can change in the costumes tab. We can uh, start redesigning how it appears and stuff in here. And really importantly, this one, um, scripts belong to a sprite. So I'm just going to make a very quick sprite uh, script here. So when we start the game, let's forever make the sprite move forward 10 steps. So if I just move our sprite over and press go, it just keeps moving off the screen and that's sort of what happens. Now, if I click on the stage, all my scripts have disappeared. And you may find that you are working away on this and then you think, oh my goodness, I've lost everything. And probably what's happened is all the scripts that you've assigned to that sprite are still there. It's just that you've not clicked on that sprite. You've, you've clicked on something else. So we lose the view of that sprite's scripts. So if that happens to you, don't panic. Just make sure you have clicked on your sprite before you start to worry. If by some chance you did delete it, and it's quite easy to do. For example, if you drag a script, uh, a block of scripts off, you end up deleting them. Um, but you can always go to edit, undelete if that happens. So that's always good to know that that's there. Okay, so that's our little primer to, scat, uh, to scratch. Sorry. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll move on to actually uh, how to create uh, our Pac-Man sprite and a maze for Pac-Man to live within.